Hello everyone, today I want to show you how I cold moist stratify seeds using the freezer. I've showed you this before, but today I'm going to do it a little bit. Welcome to my YouTube channel, 90% Native. My name is Michelle and I grow native plants and I garden for the wildlife. So like I said earlier, I am going to cold moist stratify some native plant seeds using the freezer. This is a fast forward method. I found it from Wildflower Farms in New England and she has a website where she sells native plants and seeds and she also um, has a YouTube channel about how she does this. So I will definitely link that all below and I highly recommend you go check out both of those links. So anyway, I found a pile of seeds that I meant to sow earlier. <laughs> I actually meant to sow them back in November and leave them outside, but here we are, it's the middle of February. It has been a very warm winter in Virginia and I just don't know if I put them outside if I sowed the seeds in flats and put them outside, if I really have enough time to give them that cold, moist stratification because they all require 60 days of cold, moist stratification. I will tell you that my most successful germination rates happen when I sow my seeds in November and leave them outside all winter long until the spring. That's where I get the best germination. The second best germination I get is when I use the refrigerator to cold moist stratify my native plant seeds. And then when I'm in a pinch and I don't have a lot of time, I use the freezer method, which my germination, my germination rates are a little bit lower than using the refrigerator. So if you are going to try this yourself, just know those unscientific results <laughs> from my experience. The first group of seeds that I am going to cold moist stratify um, are Virginia bluebells, columbine, robin's plantain, and tall larkspur. These seeds do not require light to germinate. So I'm gonna do something a little different this time and I'm actually going to sow them in my potting soil and put them in the freezer. This isn't something that I have done before. So just know that if you are gonna try this as well. Okay guys, let's get started. I have a small bin of my potting mix right here next to me. This potting mix is damp. It is by no means wet. And then I am going to start with Robin's Plantain here from Prairie Moon Nursery. And let me get this baggie. I'm going to, I have the baggie label and I, or <laughs> I have the baggie labeled with the plant name and the date. I am going to just take a little scoop here of my potting mix, dump it into my little baggie. Okay, and then I am going to drop in my seeds. Oh, there are a lot of seeds here. I'm going to sprinkle in my seeds here. Okay. Let me give it one little spray. This is totally up to you. Remember, this is my um, first time doing it this way. I'm going to close the bag up here, and then I'm just going to shake everything around so that I can make sure that the seeds um, are mixed in with the soil. And I don't have like one clump of seeds in one place, basically. Okay, there you go. And as for timing, because these are in potting soil and I've never cold moist stratified seeds in potting mix before using the freezer, I'm going to just go back to total basics and I am going to do 24 hour rotations. So 24 hours in the refrigerator, 24 hours in the freezer. I'm going to do that over the course of five days. Then I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in the refrigerator and leave them in the refrigerator for probably about two weeks before I go ahead and attempt to sow them. All of these seeds need 60, 60 days of cold, moist stratification. Now, if they only needed 30, then I would do the freezer method 
and then sew them and put them outside. Because they need the 60 days of cold moist stratification, I'm choosing to leave them in the refrigerator for two weeks after I complete the process with the oh freezer. My. Okay, so here I have my Robin's plantain and my columbine, and these are ready for the fast forward cold moist stratification process using the freezer. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you experiment, let me know your results. I'll let you know my results since I'm using the potting mix um, for the first yes. time. And so thank you so much for joining me here today. Happy gardening, and I will catch you again next time.